Hello! In this Emerging Ed Tech video, we're taking a look at a collection of tips and techniques for creating good quality screencasts. Now this video is a companion to the article on Emerging Ed Tech that we published today in which we've called dozens of tips and techniques from a handful of good quality web resources. I've gathered certain techniques and tips that I am particularly uh, fond of and shared them here and then I've also provided the the links to each of the sources so you can click through to each of the original sources and learn plenty more about the many uh, tips and, and ideas that these folks share from their experiences. And before we look at some of these tips and techniques I'll throw in a quick bonus one which is to pay close attention to lighting um, if you are you know, uh, capturing yourself if you're using a webcam to capture uh, yourself or others. And in the uh, beginning of this video, the lighting wasn't the greatest. Uh, I moved to a different room to do my uh, work, and I have to optimize it a little bit. So uh, that's an important one. And moving on now to some of the videos, the uh, tips and techniques here. So keep them short. Um, about five minutes is good, maybe three to ten minutes max. Uh, you really don't want them much longer than that. If you have a lot more material than that to share, which you often will, then make several shorter clips. It's just easier to digest. Uh, don't hesitate to embellish the slides a little. Be tasteful. Don't, don't do it just for the sake of doing it. But use, you know, use your... Here I'm using the cursor. I can use a highlight function in Camtasia, which I probably will when I edit this piece after I record it. And you'll see that here. Uh, and there's a lot of other ways to use techniques like that to really uh, help content stand out and make a point. Uh, some great techniques here about what to do with uh, your microphone. Um, and planning is really important. You, ha you want to kind of storyboard what you're doing, particularly if it's a longer piece. Shorter pieces, you might want to be able to wing it a little more after you get experienced. But when you're starting, use whatever techniques you're comfortable with to lay out what you're going to do, script it out, and be prepared. And uh, you know, another thing that's not really here and should be added is be prepared for it to take much more time than you anticipate. When you're first doing this, you can spend up to an hour creating just a minute of video. Once you get better at it, it goes much faster. Uh, but the better you plan, the faster it will go as well. Um, some other good tips here. Uh, you do need to know uh, where you're going to distribute, and that may have some impact on uh, what you do, particularly in terms of resolutions and things like that, so something to consider. Uh, more audio recording tips. Be sure to speak clearly and crispy. Clear, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's ironic, huh? Clearly, crisply, and engagingly. Um, it's a little bit of a tongue twister. Uh, you're going to edit out. You can have the ability to edit out ums and you knows and those kinds of uh, mistakes. And as you can hear, I tend to talk kind of fast. Uh, if you're comfortable with that, you can. Uh, and the viewer can slow things down if they need, you know, pause or rewind, that is, to, to hear something again if they need to. But it helps to keep things moving well. You don't want to use handheld cameras for this type of thing unless you're out in the field and it's just the obvious thing to do. Don't get carried away with picture in picture. Some people think they always need their little face in the corner. I used to do that initially and it doesn't necessarily help. Um, they talk about don't move the mouse constantly while screening. I think I might do that a little more than I should, but I certainly try not to move it constantly. Plan to make mistakes. I mean, this goes to that, that point that, you know, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to make some mistakes. You have editing capabilities. Uh, don't be hesitant to edit things out. And uh, another great tip here that comes from the uh, Flip Your Classroom book by Bergman and Sams is work with another teacher. Uh, they actually have a whole section, have a chapter devoted to, to this whole concept and a, and a section in it that really talks about how to make videos your students will love. There's a lot of great tips in there. But I love this one. If you can partner up with somebody um, for a, a number of reasons, you can kind of help each other. But one of the best things you can do is you can talk to each other and video that. And one of, the, one of you takes the instructor role one of you takes more of the student role and it can just be much more engaging and natural and it's a really powerful idea and adding a little humor can always help um, I, I'm not really getting into here the specific tools and apps to use there's a lot of great lists of that out on the web screencast-o-matic is a great popular free app that works for Macs and PCs and Camtasia is really kind of a leading product if you want to spend a little money to get a much higher uh, quality capability for editing and all kinds of neat things you can do and uh, so, you know, as always, we'd love to hear your feedback, your tips and suggestions. So please don't hesitate to come out here and comment and share those ideas. And I hope you find these helpful. Thank you very much.